We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that instead of using traditional fireworks, Cleaner alternatives like drone and laser light shows should be used to prevent harm to wildlife, household pets, and the environment. A symphony of sparks echoes through the sky, lighting up the night with flaming buds that hiss and pop and roar. Blooming jewels whose light and weight lie heavily beneath the fading glow of altered afterthoughts. Ejaculations of excess whose stinging grind lingers long beyond the flashes of our narrow, premature delight. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Pacific Conservation Biology, which has found that popular fireworks should be replaced with cleaner drone and laser light shows to avoid the highly damaging impact on wildlife, domestic pets and the broader environment. Fireworks are a popular form of entertainment around the world, but they have negative effects on wildlife, pets and other aspects of the environment. They create loud noise and bright lights that can cause distress to both domestic animals and also harm wildlife on a larger scale. Some big firework events even happen at times when animals are migrating or reproducing, which can have long-term effects on their populations. Firework residue also significantly contributes to the chemical pollution of soil, water and air, further posing a threat to both animal and human health. In this new study, researchers looked at the effects of firework displays at events like Diwali in India, the 4th of July in the United States, and New Year's Eve in Chile. They found that fireworks can harm birds, mice, sea lions and other animals and contribute to pollution, providing clear evidence that fireworks are very harmful to the environment across a variety of scales. For example, the heavy metals that are released during the explosions work their way into soil, bacteria and moss, where they can then enter the food chain and negatively impact human health through bioaccumulation. The researchers conclude that using modern alternatives like eco-friendly fireworks and reusable drone and laser light shows can be used instead for a safer and more sustainable way to preserve cultural traditions while reducing their negative impacts. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. A symphony of sparks echoes through the sky, lighting up the night with flaming buds that hiss and pop and roar. Blooming jewels whose light and weight lie heavily beneath the fading glow of altered afterthoughts. Ejaculations of excess whose stinging grind lingers long beyond the flashes of our narrow, premature delight. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading State Fair Fireworks, Labor Day by Marianne Corbett. Marianne Corbett is an American poet, medievalist and linguist. She grew up in Northern Virginia and did her undergraduate work at the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia, and later graduated with a doctorate in English from the University of Minnesota. Corbett's collections of poetry include Breath Control, published in 2012, Credo for the Checkout Line in Winter, published in 2013, and In Code, published in 2020. 
Her numerous awards and accolades include the Lyric Memorial Award, the Willis Barnstone Translation Prize, and the Richard Wilbur Award. State Fair Fireworks, Labor Day, by Marianne Corbett. Look up, blazing chrysanthemums in rows, shrieking to bloom above the tilter whirls, hang for a blink, then die in smoky swirls. They scream revolt at what the body knows, all revels end, we clap and sigh. Then no, another rose, another peony, break, flame, roar, as though by roaring they might make the rides whirl and perpetuum as though we need not finally wearily turn to plough back through the crush of bodies, the lank air, to buses that inch us sweating across town, as though we were not dropped in silence there to trudge the last blocks home, the street lamps low, the crickets counting summers, seconds, down. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.